Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Rona Days, episode 61 of the show that will not stop. This is my week recap episode diary show. Uh, so yeah, I uh, had a pretty good week. Pretty relaxing week. It's been pretty hot, actually. Uh, so sweating uh, profusely, constantly. Uh, thankfully, my roommate set up a, you know, above ground pool outdoors. So I've been able to kind of soak in that and just like cool down, which is feels amazing. Feels so good to just, uh, you know, it's not, you know, it can't swim, you know, it's, uh, it's only like three feet deep, but it's it's enough to where you can you can hop on a floaty and just relax for a bit, which I've kind of been relaxing this week. Uh, you know, been uh, been cycling between two, uh, been cycling between watching uh, Nightmare on Elm Street franch- fran- franchises for for fran- 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 um, because I'll be doing my I'll be ranking my top five. Uh, a nightmare on Elm Street movies on Saturday. So I've, and it's a franchise that, uh, you know, I'll talk about more on Saturday, but it's a franchise that I had only seen one of the movies maybe once when I was a kid. Uh, so it was my first introduction to the Freddy Krueger uh, universe, which I kind of enjoyed, but I'll talk about more of that on Saturday. So, which is nine movies long and, some of the movies are pretty horrible, so watching, getting through some of those movies was extremely difficult. Uh, but I've been cycling between that and uh, putting on Whose Line Is It Anyway on in the background. Uh, it's, a, it's on HBO Max. Uh, it's the Drew Carey hosted version. I think they have like eight or nine seasons, uh, which inspired me to look up the Drew Carey show because that's a show that I loved watching when it was, you know, on air back in the day. A show that I remember growing up on, a show that I loved. It had uh, Ryan Stiles from Whose Line uh, was one of the characters, uh, one of the actors on the show. And it's not available anywhere. I think just season one, you can, you can purchase uh, digitally, maybe. Maybe on like Amazon. But that's it. Like there's, I, I think they did like five or six seasons and they're just not available anywhere. I tried to research why. Apparently there's a, you know, contract issue with some of the, the song rights, which is depressing. Like it's so depressing that we live in an age where everything is so accessible and easily, ex- you know, streamed. You have digital music, you have digital movies, you have digital shows, podcasts. Everything's digital. And yet there's like these blind spots. Like Old Boy, the original Old Boy. You can't buy that digital co- you can't buy a digital copy of that anywhere. You have to buy it on Blu-ray. As far as far as I'm concerned, I haven't f- I haven't found any at least in the US. Maybe it's different. Maybe if I use like a like a, a VPN, I could buy it uh maybe it's available in like in Korea or something like that. But not available in the US in digital form. Uh, or streaming anywhere. Uh, I think it has been at points, but right now it is not. And Drew Carey show is fallen victim to the same thing. Uh, but I actually just finished Who Li- Who's Line the other day, so I put on uh, Impractical Jokers, uh, which is interesting because they're both improv shows. Completely different formats for the improv. Uh, Who's Line is more of a traditional uh, improv setup, playing improv games. Uh, where Impractical Jokers, you know, they're using their improv skills to challenge each other in the real world, uh, which I enjoy. I enjoy both of those shows. They're just really fun to have on in the background. Uh, and, you know, y- y- there's no plot or narrative or story arcs going on. You just look up, see a thing, you know, watch a segment or two, and then, you know, go back to your phone. They're like the best things to watch. So I've been cycling between those improv shows which are both available on hbo max and then cycling to the nightmare on elm street franchise which i ended up just buying the franchise it was like 50 bucks on uh on through apple um 
because some of the movies, most of them were available, I think, actually on HBO. Uh, but there was a couple, I think, like the third one, um, uh, Dream Warriors, I believe, or maybe it was the second one. One of, there was a couple that weren't available, and I wanted to watch the entire franchise. Uh, just, uh, like, I felt motivated to, I felt inspired to, uh, so I figured I'd follow through with it, and I just, I just purchased it. So, that was kind of my week. Um, I think the heat has affected my mood quite a bit. I've been, I mean, at the beginning of the week, pretty relaxed, pretty calm, especially considering where my mental state was this time last year. This time last year, uh, I still, I don't think I had been approved for unemployment. I don't think I had gotten my stimulus check. I think I was pretty much out of money. I thought my van was going to be repossessed. I, I, you know, I thought I was going to lose everything. Um, so I was spinning out. Like I was, as far as my mental space this time last year was probably the worst I've ever been in my entire life mentally. Uh, just like waking up with extreme anxiety, having panic attacks uh, all throughout the day. Um, just horrible. It was horrible. Like, I, I, I got so desperate. I mean, I don't have any health insurance. Of course, the pandemic didn't help either. Um, but, like, I have no health insurance. So, like, going to a doctor to, like, help to get, like, medication to help with uh, panic attacks and, and anxiety and things like that was not a question. So I ended up having to self-medicate with, with alcohol, uh, which I drank a lot uh, last summer. But it actually helped. It definitely helped get me through it. And then I, you know, I tapered off on the booze. Uh, and I, you know, just took a, a nice break from alcohol. Uh, but yeah, so this time last year, mentally, I was in the worst shape my entire life. I mean, there were moments in my childhood, I think, where I had similar uh, kind of extreme emotional things. But uh, yeah, I was, I was spiraling. And then, like, during my spiraling out time, my camera that I used to record this show, as well as my paintings, broke. Uh, and then my phone broke. Like, everything was falling apart last year. I was mentally, my brain was falling apart, and then all of my equipment was falling apart. Uh, but somehow I survived. And, you know, th at the beginning of the week, I, was, I felt really calm. For, like, the first time, I felt, like, kind of at peace which which is felt weird uh but then you know a few days i've i've just been on edge where it's like i realize that my my uh my fuse is much shorter my fuse is much and i just don't i i have no patience for people when my fuse is short uh so i tr i tend to like try to avoid people in general so it's not like i'm around anybody where i can you know, go off or kind of, you know, push that on them. But online, like, you'll see I'll be fiery online. You know, you, like, if, if, I'm, if I'm throwing out tweets, I'll, I'll throw the, I'll throw the, I burn some bridges. I don't give a fuck, you know. Tony Hinchliffe getting canceled, called it, called it. Not that he would be, I mean, he called it. But I, I couldn't. Yeah, I talked about this in yesterday's episode, but I, I couldn't stand watching Kill Tony anymore months, like earlier this year. It was back before they left L.A. I couldn't do it. He was just way too much of a Trump supporter. And then now that they're in, they moved to Texas, it's just, it just really heavy with the racism. So to see Tony kind of get ousted for being extremely racist to his opener and just really being an asshole to his opener, too. I mean, there's... It's like there's, I've seen so many comics that I have now on, like people that I've done work for, people that I used to have a lot, and I understand they're, you know, they're trying to protect their friend, their buddies, whatever, but they clearly don't watch Kill Tony. They don't know that Tony Hinchcliffe has been progressively more racist, even, even so much so that he mentioned it himself on an episode of Kill Tony, how much more racist he's being. So not surprised. But it is what it is. I'll be fiery. I'll burn some bridges. I don't give a fuck. Come at me. I'll talk shit about gun owners. I'll talk shit about conservatives. I don't give a fuck. You guys are stupid. I don't give a fuck. Uh, 
So I might get fiery because I've been on edge. And I think it's the heat. The heat, I mean, it's come sweating all the time. It's just, you know. And, of course, today, as I'm recording, there's like 20 flies in here. I have a bug zapper. I invested in a bug zapper because I know how bad the fly situation gets at points. And the bug zapper is amazing. There's nothing like hearing that thing zap away at night, knowing that it's taking care of, you know, pests. You know, I'm getting a lot less bug bites this year round, but definitely a lot of flies. I don't know. This bug zapper is not really, these flies aren't, aren't attracted to it enough. But uh, other than that, I love this bug zapper that I got. Amazon. It's really, it's a nice feeling to hear that thing go off. And then some, if it's like a really big bug that gets zapped, you can smell it. It's satisfying. It's satisfying. I don't know. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I've, I've got mental problems still. The, the mental problems I had have just morphed into like a deranged, uh, a deranged need to uh, exterminate all bugs. I'm the Hitler of bugs. I want to exterminate them all. I'm sorry. Humanity is the master species. All bugs must perish. Put them all into gas chambers and let them all die. Bugs, I'm talking about. And don't kill all the bugs. We need bugs. I, I love bugs. Just stay out of my room. Just stay out of my space. Give me space. You have all of outside. Let me have some space, please. Uh, or get zapped. I don't care. It's entertaining to me. Uh, but I hope everybody else is, is good. Uh, this Hopefully, the day this comes out, uh, I will have gotten my second vaccine shot. Fingers crossed. I tried to make an appointment, but it, it, like the appointment says I'm getting the first dose. It didn't specify what vaccine they have available, um, but it seems like there's a lot of places where you can just walk in. So I'm hoping if that appointment that I made uh, doesn't work for some reason, uh, then I'll be able to like go to a CVS or something and get my second shot. So this time next week, as this or when this episode drops, uh, your boy's going to be vaccinated. You know, just got to wait two weeks after the shot to uh, make sure it's fully activated. But I'm excited. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to going on dates. It's been forever since I've been on a date. Uh, once I get this vaccination shot, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to hanging out with some women. So, uh, Get at me if you're a woman. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, but, yeah, for real. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. That's it. Hope everybody's having a good week. Peace. Get yourself $25 in credit when you sign up for Ting cell phone service. Go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash Ting. That's T-I-N-G. Get yourself $25 in credit. You can apply that to your bill. You can apply that to a new device. But this is the great cell phone service at a very, very low cost. Works on all the major networks, same low rates, and uh, the best coverage ever. Uh, get $25 off when you go through my link, inspireddisorder.com slash ting, and get your new cell phone service, and thank me later. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out!